Hello, and welcome to Estes Park, Colorado, where, for the past few years, a group of students have been collecting data about mountain lions and their whereabouts. To change the cameras, students must first hike up to the site of the camera in Rocky Mountain National Park. They then open it and record the number of pictures it has taken. After this, they turn the power off, remove the SD card, replace the batteries, turn it back on, and finally reset the date and time. Once the camera is closed, it is ready for another week of data collection. I'm Gary Miller. I'm a uh, wildlife biologist with Rocky Mountain National Park. All right, so is there any program in the park that monitors mountain lion activity? Uh, we don't, specifically in the park, we don't have a, a particular project just focused just on mountain lions. Now, are there any plans for future monitoring by uh, the park service, or is it just going to stay the way it is? For right now, uh, I think we'll probably uh, maintain the mountain lion work at that kind of low level. We don't want to, uh, we're, we're not seeing any indications that mountain lions are in any, any trouble. And now, is this the same case on the west side of the park? Uh -huh. right. the, um, we don't have uh, the monitoring systems uh -huh. of, the, of the students over on the west yeah. side of the park. Okay. But we do have, uh, um, we do collect, collect the reports. What they do you have a, here? This is a, a skull of a mountain lion, and okay. uh, they are a carnivore. Look at these teeth right here. See how they, instead of like our molars that grind, see how these teeth right here slice. They're almost like a pair of scissors. Can you see that? Does that show up? Those are called carnassial teeth. Okay, right. so that's part of the thing that calls them a, a carnivore. They are a straight meat eater and uh, they don't care much about vegetation at all. And uh, they are uh, extremely, extremely powerful. They're the fourth largest uh, cat in the world. They're the largest um, largest cat in in North America, and um, they they range all the way from the Yukon in Canada all the way down to Argentina. All right, so here we have a dead elk. It looks like, and um, it's possible that a mountain lion may have killed that. Uh, it's, it's really up in the air, mm -hmm. I guess. It is. It is possible. So this one, um, although it's it's been dead a while. It's, uh, it's possible it, it could have been a mountain lion kill. Uh, doesn't look like the typical place where I've seen right. mountain lions uh, take animals. Uh, and the other thing, what you will see if, if you're out hiking and you do see a, uh, a dead elk or deer, uh, what, what mountain lions always do when after they kill their animal, they cut it up. Huh. And I mean, have you ever seen, I don't know if, if you have a cat, I, I have friends that have a cat, and you see how they'll, they'll uh, when they use the litter box, they'll, yeah. huh. they'll cover it up. But if you ever see a, uh, a dead elk or deer, it looks like that. Yeah. There's been a mountain lion nearby. Well, is it true that uh, the mountain lion's range have, uh, has been decreasing lately? Um, is, is that true, or is it just a myth? Uh, I've not seen any uh, indication that it's, okay. that it's overall that their uh, their range is decreasing. Now, when you talk about them on a national level, mm -hmm. they're actually increasing. All right. Well, well it was a pleasure talking to you. Right. I, I appreciate it.